hello everyone so today we are going to implement uh, blood splatter so when we get hit by it with bullets uh, we have this Niagara blood particle system that we created yesterday and when those blood particles hit the ground there will be decals spawned on the ground so here is the demonstration See? so as we get hit the blood spatters are spawned as decals on the ground so let's see how to do this today so the main major two things we are going to do here is we are going to look into how to uh, export uh, collision data into a blueprint from the Niagara system and then we are going to see how to create a decal material using this sprite sheet we have so randomly one of these uh, cells will be selected and used as the decal so those are the two things we are going to do today all right so last time we implemented this particle effect so the next step is when the blood uh, blood drops on the floor we need to see the blood splatters on the floor that's what we are what we want to do next so first challenge we have is how to export that collision event and get those hit location collision locations of the blood drops into uh, any of our blueprints so the way to do that is let me open my character we have this Niagara callback handler this interface if we implement this interface let me add it now we have under interface Niagara receive particle data so we can implement this implement this somewhere maybe here right so but uh, in order to receive events to this uh, in order to receive callbacks through this event we need to have the Niagara system that drops the that generate the particle collision event and export data inside this blueprint but at the moment the way I generate those particle effects happens inside the gun here impact and decal here yeah, I just spawn a particle event particle effect based on the surface type so this is the blood particle when the surface is flesh I spawn blood so this is the particle system I am spawning so let's do something like this so let's let the gun also spawn the particles but let's also add this ns blood into our character blueprint Niagara particle system ns blood is already selected applied because i have selected it here right and then let me disable auto activate and when this character get damaged go on it. here we get the hit location and let's it 
particle effect. Uh, before that, we need to set its location. So, set world location with this hit location. Right. Now, uh, but still we don't get the event. Because uh, there are some stuff that we need to set up here as well, which is under user parameters. We need to add a new object parameter. Let's name it. We need to name it BP call back. I'll copy this name because I need this. Uh, need to set this parameter from the blueprint. So let's set this parameter here. Where is the begin play? Here. Get the reference. Set Naya. Uh, op variable object as the object I'm gonna assign self that means this object and name is BP callback handler then only uh, the Nagara system will be able to register and send the events Ah, oh, wait, if I do that, even if this Nagra system is not inside this blueprint, this will work, I think. Uh, but yeah, it's okay. I don't think it's simple. It's not that simple to set uh, this hit object and register as the callback handler for whatever the Nagra system we spawn inside the gun. So this way would be better right now uh that's not all here so the first one is this texture first module let me rename this This is drops. Right, and here I'll add collision. Fix and uh, export particle data to blueprint so here condition to export data we can change this to output collision collision valid and GPU allocation fixed size reserve a fixed number of elements can write Per frame. let's make this one because we don't need that many particle that many events to be called right compile this now here uh, wait. Let it. where is this let me cut this and put inside on bullet it and let's print the values we get so here we receive an array let's run a forage loop 
and what's this element break here we have position let's print uh, these positions and just to see if we get these events correctly mm -hmm. doesn't seem like working what did we miss oh wait callback handler parameter we need to assign this Right, see now we get particle hit events, but we get a lot. We don't really need that much. So how do we reduce that? Uh, well actually here we get 30 to 60 particles. So we are likely to get but what does this do? particle this doesn't seem to do anything mm -hmm. right uh, let me duplicate this and this blood for So here, this main blood particle, I'll remove this module, this one, and collision, and here, this parameter, close it, and this one, I'll disable this uh, module, and blood drop, I'll reduce the count, to maybe one two because I only need a very limited amount of events to be called here. So here as thin as blood I'll use and this blood for decas. let's see right now we don't get that much okay so now what we have to do is spawn in a decal on that uh, drop location collision location for that I have this set of blood particles blood splatter textures but I have created one texture by putting them together so here it's I have arranged it like a grid horizontally we have four elements vertically we have two elements so I have import now let's import this into our uh, materials blood this we don't have anything here let me read that Redirect us. to here to this blood and let me import blood decals this is the texture so here let's create a material blood decals mat okay now here we have let me change the material domain to translucent 
and connect alpha change this to a volt right here you can see uh, eight different blood splatters so at the moment I need to render only one and randomly I need to change it so to do that we can do some UV operations let me connect texture coordinate so here we have in horizon horizontally we have four cells vertically we have two cells so that means one divided by two is for 0.25 so let's multiply this with let's make flow two promote x to parameter and y also to a parameter so as i said here we have four elements horizontally that means one divided by four e is 0 0.05 And this one is 0.5 see now we have only one uh, blood splatter the first one this one so if I right now we have the only the first one so if i offset this uv uh, i can render these elements too so to do that let's add another vector too Flow two. So how this needs to be changed? Uh, so let me define a parameter. Scalar parameter. Called frame. So frame means. I'm going to consider this one as frame 0, this one as frame 1, this one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this will be something, this has to be something in between 0 and 7. Something 0 to 7. So, x, uh, if the frame number is 3, then x value would be 3 y value would be 0 if the frame number is 0 to 0 1 2 3 4 5 if the frame number is 5 x value would be 1 y value would be also 1 for x3 for frame 3 x value would be 3 y value would be 3 y value would be 0 so to get that for x value we can get the modulus division and we need to divide this by 4 because we have 4 elements horizontally and then multiply this with the x scale add it here we get the x value so if i change the frame to one we should get the next frame see right but uh, in order to get the sprites in the secondary we need to have this y power component as well for that we can divide frame by 4 
uh, but we can't have um, decimal values so therefore we need to get the flow of whatever this result here and then multiply that with the y square connect here right now if i set the frame to 5 we get this element frame to 7 we get the last element this one all right so i'll change this material domain to deferred decal and define some of these values metallic something like 0.4 specular 0 maybe not 0.5 roughness so this is blood so we need to see some reflections here so a low value Okay, why don't I see that? Is it still rendering? We don't see it because we don't have the flow. Ah, oh, yeah, because this is a decay. So we need to change the preview scene settings. That I can do here. Show flow. Right now we can see the flow here. Still, we don't see. The decal. Oh, this is not the area. All right. Now we can see. See. Okay, it looks a bit too reflective. Maybe. Well, we can find you on the parameters later. Let's just spawn them and see how they look. Right, let's test this. Cal. The material. Blood. Right. This is huge. to uh, spawn it so here let's keep this rotation oh uh, wait for the decal size I'm not sure what's the value we need to use 
Uh, is it this one? Yeah, let's try 32. And then we can set. Oh, we need to update that frame, but let's first spawn the decals and see if that works. Right, it is working, uh, but we need to have we don't need to have a huge number of decals, so let's limit it. Now changing the parameter. material set together hmm. well turns out there is no way to change the parameter in an existing decal material either we have to use a parameter collection or dynamic material instance but i'm not sure about the performance concerns of the dynamic material instance so we may have you may have to be careful with that so yeah let's create a dynamic material instance then and apply to this decal so for that we can create dynamic material instance using blood decals material and then we can set scalar parameter value of frame to something in between 0 and 8 so random int teacher in range 0 to server put it here uh -huh. and set Okay, this is the area. Right now, let's see. We have 
have different let's play this. it's not the same you will get the randomization all right so with this i think we can stop this episode great it looks great uh one more thing if we want we can set a lifetime for this decals as well set time ah it's already here lifespan so zero means infinite but if you want you can add something here so for now i just leave it um, oh wait maybe that's not a good idea because we have a war mod here as well so let's random in range 10 to 20 all right so i'm gonna stop this episode right here And here is the final preview. All right, so thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available in the patreon page link will be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club see you in another episode goodbye